Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain the structure of protein molecules. It is very important to understand the structure of protein molecules in in silico drug discovery because in each step of in silico drug discovery, the interaction between a protein and a drug molecule is explored through different kinds of software or different kinds of computational methods. And you know the structure of drug molecules are comparably simpler than protein molecules. And the structure of protein is very complex. Actually, protein uh, remains in a dynamic condition, even in normal physiological condition. Uh, and the chain changes in temperature, pressure, pH, or even ligand binding have influences on the structure of protein. So, it is very important to understand the structure of a protein. So let's see what is a protein molecule. Protein is a chain of amino acids folded into a three dimensional structure. So what is an amino acid? Amino acids are the building blocks of protein and have a common structure. They consist of four key components, right? One amino group, one carboxyl group, hydrogen atom, and a side chain group. And this group is a variable component of the amino acid. And it distinguishes one amino acid from another. It can be as simple as a single hydrogen atom or it can be a complex structure. Okay. This amino group and carboxyl group are always present in all amino acids. While this side chain varies in structure, giving each amino acid its unique property. So there are 20 types of amino acid commonly found in protein and each with different side chains. The name of the 20 amino acids are alanine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, lysine, proline, phenylalanine, tyrosine, tryptophan, serine, threonine, cysteine, methionine, aspartame, glutamine, aspartate, glutamate, lysine, arginine, and histidine. These are the 20 types of amino acids which are commonly found in protein. Now, the hydrophobic groups are present in first six amino acids. From alanine to choline, these six amino acids contain hydrophobic group in the R position. That's why the overall property of the, these amino acids are hydrophobic in nature. In case of phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan, the aromatic rings are present in this R group position. In the same way, the lysine, arginine, histidine, they are basic amino acids because positively charged group are present in, in this R position. And aspartate and glutamate are acidic in nature. So only uh, difference in the R group position. So side chain group if differ, the properties of the amino acid changes. Now, when two amino acids join, the carboxyl group of one amino acid reacts with the amino group of another. This reaction forms a covalent bond called a peptide bond, which links the two amino acids. In this process, a molecule of water is released. So, as this process continues, a chain of amino acids linked by peptide bonds called a polypeptide chain is formed. And in this stage, the polypeptide chain looks like a, a chain of pearls. That means a pearl chain where each pearl is uh, can be compared with say amino acid. Okay. So this is the primary structure. That means a chain of amino acid. So here you see this is the primary structure of protein where I have included only four amino acids for representation. Here alanine, tyrosine, histidine, and methionine. These amino acids are linked to form a short polypeptide chain. Okay. 
So in case of protein molecule, the number of amino acids and their sequence actually determines their final structure. So the number of amino acids and their sequence, these actually represent the primary structure of a protein molecule. In the chain of amino acids, further coils to form a spring-like structure. The spring-like structure is known as alpha helix. Sometimes they do not form a coil and form a sheet or a stand-like structure. This structure is known as beta stand. In between beta stand or in between two alpha helix, sometimes a loop is formed. And this loop region actually helps in folding of the overall protein molecule. These regions are highly flexible. That's how the chain of polypeptides they fold into different conformation. Okay. So this is merely a 2D diagram for protein structure. But now I am going to show you a 3D model of protein molecule. This 3D structure I have downloaded from the protein data bank. Protein data bank is the largest repository of three dimensional structure of different biomolecules. So this is a protein molecule and I have downloaded it in PDB format. And a visualization software is required to visualize the protein molecule and I am using Discovery Studio for viewing this CD structure of protein molecule. Okay. So you can see it's a protein molecule and I can uh, move it just by like pressing my uh, right click of mouse. Okay. And I assume you will enjoy this model. This is the three dimensional structure of a protein molecule. And this is a bound ligand, and this ligand is bound to the active site of protein molecule. It's actually one kind of inhibitor. So now we can see the different uh, constituent amino acids of this protein molecule. This protein molecule is also uh, composed of different amino acids and we can visualize the number and sequence of amino acids in this protein chain. You see, here the amino acid starts from the number nine because fast few residues are missing. It sometimes happens during a crystallization process. So here a number starts from 9 and uh, is present in amino terminal end. Okay, you can see here the uh, this region is highlighted because I have uh, clicked on this alanine 9. Then just after alanine 9, when I click on valine 10, you can see the yellow color is moving. That means after alanine 9, valine 10 is present, number 10. Amino acid is valine. Then I can zoom it to show you better. So next in sequence is lysine. Number 11 amino acid is lysine. Then isoleucine, glycine, isoleucine, isoleucine, glycine, glycine, threonine, glycine, leucine. So, we can see the polypeptide chain is composed of amino acids. So, this is a cartoon model and we can view this model in different formats like this is the all atom model. Here, each and every amino acid with their constituent atoms can be viewed. Okay. So in case of first amino acid, that means alanine 9, this is the first amino acid. I am zooming it. 
you can see this is the first amino acid alanine 9 and this amino acid composed of central carbon the carboxyl group amino group and next in sequence is valine 10 this valine 10 is linked with the alanine 9 now i can color it okay totally red in color and second amino acid valine and changing its color to green so you can see now the red color alanine and green color valine are linked to a psi bond so uh, this is the three dimensional structure or crystallographic structure which have been uploaded by different scientist group uh, so scientist group continually update their uh, crystallographic structure which they determine uh, through extra crystallography some other methods are also there for 3d structure determination like uh, a nuclear magnetic resonance or cryo electron microscopy so these are the process okay so in uh, next video i will uh, explain how to download this uh, three dimensional structure from protein database and what are uh, what are the different types of database available for downloading this kind of protein structure and also databases are also there for small molecules like different kinds of drugs pharmaceuticals chemical compounds so uh, small molecule uh, drug database or pharmaceutical or chemical compound database are also available so we can download their three dimensional structure from this database and then we can use this three dimensional structure for further processing or different in silico experiments okay so <laughs> this is the two dimensional structure here you can see the uh, alpha helix region beta scan region the loop region okay several other formats are also available This is another format. We can edit this structure, we can process this structure, we can modify this structure. And this process structure or after modification of this structure, these structures are subject to, to different kinds of in silico experiments. So uh, that's all uh, for today's tutorial. In next tutorial, I will show you how to download the uh, three dimensional structure of protein molecules and drug molecules from different database and how to install the software for visualization to view the uh, for viewing the structure three dimensional structure of the protein molecules and drug molecules and how uh, these structures can be processed using different kinds of software in subsequent video gradually I will explain okay so that's all for today Thank you. Thank you for watching.